Hey guys, what's up? My name is Steve. Today we're going to go through lead code problem 1566. Detect a pattern of length m repeated k or more times. It's labeled as an easy problem. It's really easy, but I thought it's fun to go through this because there are multiple different places that you need to pay close attention to before you can get this problem accepted. This one showed up as a problem in last night's contest and I failed to get it accepted on the first submission because I didn't notice one of the key points to solve this problem. Okay, now let's take a look. So I thought it's very worthwhile to just quickly go through this uh, easy problem. Now let's take a look. Um, given an array of positive integers array, find a pattern of length m that is repeated k times or more. A pattern is a subarray consecutive subsequence that consists of one or more values repeated multiple times consecutively without overlapping. A pattern is defined by its length and the number of repetitions. Written true if there exists a pattern of length m that is repeated k or more times, otherwise written false. One key note that I, I missed, that I totally missed, is that it needs to be repeated consecutively without overlapping, consecutively. Let's just take a look at one example. One, two, four, 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 four. So there is a total of four fours, and it's asking us in this to repeat k or more times, which is three or more times. So in this case, an m equals to one. That means the subsequence needs to be of length one, right? So we can say there is four. Four meets this requirement, right? So the pattern four of length one is repeated four consecutive times. All right, so that's why it's returning true. The same goes to example two. Now let's take a look at, at example three. Example three, it's asking us to check for length of two, and it needs to repeat three times. Okay, length of two, one, two. Okay, this is length of two, one, two. Okay, it repeats twice only. So this is returning false. Also, we can check for two, one. Two, one repeats once, and two, one repeats second time. So length of two repeats only two times. That's why it's returning false. All right, now there's one more test case to help us understand what consecutive really means. It is this one, let's see. So we're given this input, two, two, one, two, two, one, 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 two, one. M equals to two, K equals, K equals to two as well. So that means we want to find a subsequence of length two and it repeats at least two times. All right, do we have such a pattern? Let's take a look. So see, if we use this pattern, which is two and two, do we have such a pattern that repeats twice? There's two, two here, right? But does this one count? No, it doesn't. Why? Because it's not consecutive. That's why this consecutive is bolded, right? So we need to have, there is one in between. So two, two, there is a one here in the middle of these two subsequences. So two, 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 these two subsequences, although they match, but they don't count. That means it doesn't contain such a pattern. Let's see. So its length is two. So even if we count two, two, one, two, two, one, there are, there's two, two, one, but the length of this pattern is three but it needs to be exactly of this length of m, right? So that is why this is not a valid case. I hope this makes sense. If that is all clear, then we're good. So the solution to this problem is very straightforward. We can just use a length of m, and we always try to match, match the next m length, the next m length. And as long as we find one, we'll just increment the times by one. And as long as we find there's something that is not matching this pattern, we'll just break out before it reaches k times. If it reaches k times of such a pattern, then we're good. We find this one, then we can just return true. This is the entire algorithm. But the thing that I want to highlight is just it needs to be consecutive. This is why I failed to get it I failed to get it accepted for the very first time when I submitted during the contest, which is that I got a penalty of five minutes. So I thought this is a very nice problem. You just need to read the problem very carefully and closely. All right, now let's put the idea into actual code. Let's see. So first, we'll just start from the very beginning. I start from zero. I is smaller than array length minus n because 
we need to give the last one to be at least a length of m try to match right otherwise there's no point so then just to make the code more explicit and easier to understand i'm going to call this one a pattern array copy range of array i to i plus n so this is one java api building java api to give us a copy of the specified range this is the beginning index this is the ending index beginning index is inclusive and the index is exclusive which serves our purpose exactly okay now from here on what we would like to do is that we'll, we'll try to match this pattern it consecutively so as long as it doesn't meet consecutively we we'll just break out we'll have another variable called times and we'll start from one because the pattern itself is one so that's why and then we can start from i start from j i plus m and then j is smaller than array length j needs to increment by the length of m because every time we compare the subsequence of length m all right to make it still more explicit and easier to understand we'll try to call it candidate this is the pattern that we're trying to this is the a new subsequence that we're trying to compare with range of array j j plus m all right so this is the consecutive subsequence so if arrays equal so we'll compare this to pattern and candidate if these two equal then we can just uh, increment times by one and then we check if times equals k then we can just return true otherwise what do we do otherwise here we can just break out right that means it's not conservative at least it's not consecutive we find there is a subsequence of this length but it doesn't match the pattern so that means it's not going to it's not going to be consecutive then we'll just break out right in the end after we go through this for loop that means we didn't find such a pattern of length m that re has repeated k times then we'll just return false as well false all right this is the entire algorithm now let me hit submit and see run code huh compile error cannot find symbol all right i don't think this is the correct api uh i think it should be called copy of range instead of copy of range all right run code again hmm array is equal oh i don't recall the api exactly all right cannot find symbol should be equals arrays dot equals pattern and candidate all right let's accept it now let me hit submit cool cool let's accept it and uh, this is the way that i approached this problem during the contest i just want to uh, quickly explain this and hopefully this makes sense to people just comment down below let me know how you approached this problem and if this uh, solution makes sense to you and if it does and it helps you understand the problem just do me a favor and gently tap the like button and make it turn blue that's going to help me out tremendously i really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i have accumulated quite a lot of different lead code tutorials or amazon web services certification tutorials different sorts of data structure and algorithm videos on this channel so feel free to check them out so hopefully i'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds in my other videos that's it for this video thank you very much for watching